currently I am your Supra account sales manager. I reside out of Colorado. Um, I thank you for spending your time with me today. And we are going to go over some Supra tips and tricks. We're going to talk about where we've come from, where we're going to, and how all of those changes affect you. But most importantly, we're going to talk about the best usage for your Supra Iki and how you can incorporate some of these tips and tricks to make your days easier. Um, I am going to point out right here the customer service number. Most days we have less than a 30 second wait on our customer service line, and there's less than a um, four days a year that we actually are not available to you. So I always like to make sure that if you don't currently have this phone number in your phone saved for customer service for your e-key, I highly prompt you to do that so that you can get immediate assistance when you need it. And it's a great resource. They will walk you through your individual device. If you're having a specific challenge, they can assist you with that right there and then. So um, please utilize this resource and, and use it so that you are more um, familiar with this, the opportunities that we have. Available. That's the purpose, yeah. That relates to that. So we're going to make sure everybody's on mute here. Um, and everyone should be able to see my screen. Um, but this is where we've come from. So, you know, it's kind of funny when we think back to the mechanical lockbox. Supra actually invented that. Um, we've come a long way from mechanical lockboxes and combo lockboxes, which you see today in the contractor what realm. There's really no mechanism for making sure that those recorded the entry. But in 1984, Supra came out with a mechanical recording for the lockbox. And in this particular 1984 model, there was actually a roll of tin in there that would go ahead and record the strikes by your e-key. And it would tell the owner of that box who had entered into the property. So it was kind of interesting. It was the first recorded um, lock box. And then we moved to electronic keys. And you might have had one of those as well, where it had kind of that fob that you would carry around as well, and you would have to charge it. We've come a long way. Today, the BTLE, which has been around for quite a few years, um, is a very um, strong resource for the real estate professional. Um, it has a one-step shackle release gives you easy placement. Um, it has Bluetooth capabilities, so you don't need Wi-Fi. All of the components are internal and protected by that really thick polymer coating. It has a large key container, container but some of you get us, right? There's some jamming of that key container. And so our next iteration of our lockbox, which I'm going to talk about, um, we've mitigated that problem as well. And then we have that bottom loading key container, which allows you the, the flexibility of making sure that water doesn't get in and there's no intrusion from that. Most importantly with our lockbox, you should know that we are the most trusted, longest lasting, and most reliable lockbox out there. In fact, um, we go through rigorous engineering standards, both physically as well as cybersecurity in order to make sure that we provide securitized access to um, others who are entering into the listing. But from a listing agent perspective, your listing is secure. Um, there is a complete warranty on the lockbox that you have. Um, and we have over 70% battery life after six years of use on the BTLE lockboxes. There's actually less than 1% um, warranty assistance needed per year. And 70% of all showings occur with Supra nationwide, except for in California, where about 80% of all the showings occur with Supra. So we have a very, strong regional presence within the California market. So some tips and tricks that you might not recall we're going to get into today. We're going to talk a little bit about agent alerts. 
We're going to talk about the start and end of showings and those notifications that you get and why sometimes you get them and sometimes you don't. We're going to talk about why you should consider biometric access. If you have an Apple Watch 3 or greater, we're gonna talk about your usage of accessing a property with that. And then we're going to talk about some of the new things that are coming as well. And so I'd like to start off by talking about Super My Keys. So this is a resource that allows you, if you are a snowbird or you have licensing in Florida as well as California. This allows you to customize your key with a nickname and you can have all of your keys in one app so that you can easily navigate between all of them. So instead of having to figure out which lock boxes you're going to be setting on a property, you're going to have your E key and your lock boxes under each. So that gives you greater flexibility and ease of use. If you're not currently using integrated agent alerts, I would prompt you to do so. What this does is it allows you to send notification up to three people and let them know with a pin drop that you need immediate assistance. So let's say you're doing an open house or that you are um, even in a parking garage and you're feeling a little unsafe, you can open up your e-key and drop an alert so that somebody knows to contact you immediately with the pin of where you're located. So great resource. I want to point out to you that today, this has to be done through your super web. So you actually have to do it on your computer. But as we talk about Supra One and our new integrated platform, all of this is going to be able to be available to you with the setup directly through the app. So obviously, as times have changed, the application has become more useful. Um, you know, most people, although they might have a laptop or a PC at home, um, possibly just use their handheld devices, you know, as, as the primary source. So we're migrating that over as well. Um, let's talk a little bit about location services. So location services are really important. Uh, why is it important? Well, today, when you use your eKey app and many of your applications, whether it's Super eKey or even Amazon, most people will select that they want the location services to be only accessible while using the app, which is great because everyone's concerned about battery life. However, when we do that, we limit the functionality of the e-key. And that limitation is if you've ever gone to a listing and you go back out of a property and the next day, two days, three days later, you show another property and you open your e-key app and it says, did you, com you know, you complete. Did you complete this listing, did this viewing of the showing or access, or it says to you, um, so-and-so just completed the, the access to this listing. The reality is, is that because the location services were not set to always, that doesn't send the notification or you don't receive that notification until the next time you open the application. So in order to prevent that from happening, if you sent your application on your Super eKey to allow notifications and to allow notifications or location services to always, that's going to give you real-time notifications on anybody who's accessed your listing, as well as giving the listing agent of other showings that you've completed real-time information as well. So that's an important facet. It should not run down your battery at all. Again, all you're doing is making sure that those go out real time. And when you leave a property, once you navigate away from the Bluetooth, which would give you, say, like a 10-foot radius, it will automatically send that notification anyway for you. So one-day pin and biometrics. So today, you have a one time per day pin and you update your e-key. As we move forward with Super One, the pin is going to go away. And I want to point out that we're going to be moving to a strict biometric system. Why is that? Well, you never lose your face. Um, you'll, you might not remember your pin, 
And you can reset your pin right now, just so you know, to any look, any pin you'd like. But the nice thing about the biometrics is, is that you're going to be able to utilize your face to access all of the information within your EK app. And this will allow extra security as well for like call before showings. Um, it has a built-in biometric feature, which creates that extra security for you. And the one thing that I like to point out is today, if you don't have the require pin only once per day, as you walk up to a listing every single time you're going to do a showing and access a property, you're having to enter in your pin. Well, there is a shortcut. And that is when you go into your eKey app and you go to settings, which is the second screen here, and then you move to your toggles. You'll see the two that I have actually squared out for you is require pin only once per day and require biometrics. And if you toggle both of those over, that will save you time. Now you'll have the ability to just look at your device and it will open your e-key. The second thing is, is that you'll look at your device and it will allow you to only update one time per day. And you can see 20 showings and listings in a day without having to enter in that pin again. So that should save you an immense amount of time. And if you don't have that activated and you need assistance, I'm going to refer you back to customer care and they'll be able to assist you right there and then with your app while you're, you have it open. So if you have an Apple iWatch 3 or greater, I don't know if many of you know this, you can actually use your device to wave in front of the, the um, Supra uh, BTLE lockbox and it will open your lockbox access. So you just download the Supra eKey app to the home screen of your iWatch. And this is for iWatch. And the reason for that is the Samsung products and Google products are actually written on a variety of different platforms, whereas Apple products are written only on iOS platforms. And so it's really hard to keep up with the variations of vendors. So that's the reason why it pertains primarily to Apple iWatch. Um, assigning a lockbox. Today, you don't have to assign a lockbox to your listing. Why would you want to? Well, in the future, as we migrate over to Super One, it's going to give you a host of information that you would not normally have accessible to you without that assignment. So I always like to get people in tune with some of the changes that are coming and that assignment is going to give you some greater resources. And one of those being, where's my lockbox? Which is very helpful. I'm sure quite a few of you have wondered in the past, well, where did I get, where did my lockbox go? Um, and it might be in your trunk or it might be in your garage, but this will give you some additional information as we move forward with Super One. And I'll point that out as we continue down this presentation. Data at the door. So one of the things that we provided in conjunction with Santa Clara was the fact that um, you now have data at the door. And so you get to become an instant expert when opening a lockbox regarding a property. So you might have in the past pulled showing sheets. You might have printed out a variety of showing sheets for your clients. And this now makes it all completely automated for you so that you can see last minute instructions and you can see notes about the property. And should you have your client say, well, that property two doors down isn't on our showing list, you can get additional information on that property by just pulling it up to say, well, yes, that's correct, Bob. We don't currently have that on our list. And that's because you said you needed a minimum of three bedrooms and that's a two plus a den. So you'll have that luxury of being able to answer questions immediately without struggling and you know, juggling a bunch of paper. With that, the eKey professional opportunity is 
all of the listing data that you get, the agent roster, to be able to contact the listing agent to ask any questions. And it gives you an opportunity to do a quick search or a custom search or hot sheets or even find just your own listings within the application so that you can show your um, buyers the, that opportunity as well. And so your EP app looks very similar to this. So you'll see you'll have rosters, my buyers, and buyer feedback. And these two components, my buyers and buyer feedback, are applications called the home tour. And home tour allows you an opportunity to get real-time ratings directly from your buyers regarding feedback on the properties that they're seeing. So it gives them the ability to take their own photos. It gives them the ability to take notes. They can go ahead and bring an overall rating to the property. And that way, when you go and sit down for a cup of coffee after and they want to talk over the homes, you can actually pull it up and say, well, this one you gave a 4.7 rating to, but this one only received a 4.5 rating. So tell me what it is that you now believe makes this one better than that one. And you can have open dialogue with them about what makes it beneficial to them and would they want to put an offer on that property. So it empowers your buyers to kind of keep information all in one place. And so they download this directly to their device. You are going to send them an invitation. And if you need assistance on doing that, not a problem. There's some on our website. You can contact customer service and also your office administrators know how to do this. And you're going to be able to allow them the opportunity to share their impressions with their friends and family, as well as track listings and, you know, recommend items to them as well or properties to them as well. Um, you're going to be able to send them listings and receive the ratings back so you get an overall impression of what they're really looking for. And again, this gives a mobile listing search feature so that they can find out any new listings that come available and you can send them those new listings as well. And again, if they asked any questions of why is this not on my list, you can say, well, your criteria has your criteria changed. We can update that. Um, if not, this doesn't meet your criteria. And then you'll see here that there's like kind of a rated scale. So that goes from, you know, an unhappy face to a, hey, I love this face. Um, and so you'll be able, you'll see at the top here, it says overall rating. So it goes in uh, fractional increments. So the ultimate rating is a five, but it will rate 4.1, 4.2, 4.3. And so they'll be able to sit down and say, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this. This is the one that had, you know, the the great pool, but it looked like it needed plaster. That's what my notes say. So you'll be able to keep in step with them the, the entire process. And again, you'll be able to allow them to rate the home, but you can also send them the listings for their review. And you, not the member, or not, sorry, not the um, buyer, but you have a full MLS roster search within EQ Pro. So if you have questions, of the listing agent, you can contact them very quickly by clicking on their name at the very bottom of the app. You'll see a little telephone icon. You click on that and you'll be able to reach out to them by phone. This isn't designed to allow someone to spam, you know, the entire MLS, but this is allowing you the opportunity to get a hold of John Baker for 123 Main Street should you have questions or your buyer have questions regarding the property. So last week, we launched a new feature, and the new feature is within your Super EQ app. It allows you to see all of the local associations that you have access to. So again, your primary access is going to be your primary association, but secondary access might be surrounding associations that you have reciprocal access for, or what we call co-op access for. And the nice thing about this is it allows you to see in black and white your cooperating associations. And you know where you've already been granted access. So when you look at that list, you can confidently convey to your clients, 
oh yes, I have access to go see listings in that area. I have eKey access through Supra. So you can see that it reduces any time that you would be calling to the association and the association staff of having them confirm that you do have access to an association because you can see it right in your app. And if you don't have access to a cooperating association that you would like, you would just reach out to that other association and ask them how to become a cooperating member. So that's now in your eKey as well. And if you need help locating that, you can contact customer service and they will be happy to point it out for you as well. And then we are navigating as we move forward to kind of this new vision, a reimagined system. When Supra Net and Supra Web. Supra Web is the system you use. Supra Net is the system your administrators use. When it came out years ago, it was state of the art. But as you know, with software, um, things change. And so we are on the precipice of launching our new system called Supra One. Now, I'd like to point out that Supra One isn't so hasn't been. Um, it's been developed but it's on the verge of being launched at the end of the year. And your association and Supra will decide when they are looking to move forward with this. So it will be a mutual decided upon date so that it's not a surprise to anyone where you end up finding an entirely new process of utilizing your EQ app. So there'll be lots of training, we'll be working, but it's it's very easy to use. And I wanna point out that the super, the new super system is very intuitive and modern and streamlined and it's a single platform. And so not only does it have a member view, meaning you as an individual contributor and user, but it also has a brokerage view. So now your broker is going to be able to see all of the information as well, which allows them to, you know, should they want to easily assign shackle codes, manage alerts and notifications, they can see statistical information. Um, and this also, this experience is for you as well. And that means that all of your listings will be on one page, all of your lock boxes will be on one page, you're going to be able to see the last time the lock box was open, you're going to see the last time you opened the shackle, um, you're going to be able to see a host of information, all of the organizations that you have access to, um, any organization when you did access them last. So again, a variety of information, all from one single dashboard, which will give you ease of use. We are also bringing together our showing experience and our access experience. We found years ago that really those two products are closely aligned. And so if you have our showing service, they'll be showing data within your dashboard as well. So you'll see any kind of um, tasks that need to be done with showing uh, requests or to configure a listing. So all of this information is going to be managed in one single place, which makes it super easy to use. Now, right now, I want to point out that no decisions have been made on a few of these products. So again, these are just enhancements that we have coming um, that will be available should the association and the board decide that they would like to enable them. One of those is access control. So you can easily configure the um, access to a listing. And where this comes in handy is showing by appointment only. So let's just say that you have a $10 million listing and your seller is really reticent about having just anyone come in and view the property. They want some assurances that this person that is coming in to view the property has some, you know, financial, they've overcome some financial backgrounds or challenges or requirements, that they want to make sure that they are going to be able to be there in the company of the, the showing agent and or in most cases, sometimes you as the listing agent would be there as well. But you can assure them, 
that you have set this up so that they only have access during a specific time and they can't access the property any other time, as well as the fact that they've assured and gone through the process of checking a box that they have fulfilled the requirement for um, pre-qualification and they meet that requirement prior to viewing the listing. And that the seller will have the opportunity to also say, yes, I accept this listing to be shown as well. They don't get any information about who's showing it. They don't get any information about the financial background um, and the requirement, but they do get the opportunity where the showing agent would say, yes, we, we have pre-qualification and we're qualified, and we would like to see this listing between 9 and 10 a.m. on Wednesday. So that is also a future feature of the Super One as well. And then there's also within the um, scheduling section as well, the ability to add feedback. So the feedback can be customized as well. We go ahead and we send two notifications. The third one can be sent manually, but that's to prevent you from getting spammed or spamming someone else. Um, we find that if someone's not gonna reply within probably two or three engagements that they're not gonna reply at all. So this allows you the opportunity to also customize the feedback, which can either automatically be sent to your sellers, or you can go ahead and provide that after review directly to your sellers as well. And then I always wanna point out that part of this new enhancement is some real-time market analytics. So today, when we're dealing with the market, um, you're doing a comparative market analysis, and sometimes those things change very quickly. Um, this allows you to narrow down on very specific, what we call polygons or areas that you can draw out, and it allows you the opportunity to select by increments, five, 10, 15, $20,000, how many days on market, how many showings that our property is getting up to the day before. So you'll get real time information for the market and be able to share with your sellers. Yes, I understand you would like to list the property for 1.2 million, but if we listed it for 1.3 million, we actually will get four times the amount of showings than we would if we listed it for 1.2. So some really great tools that are coming your way um, with new enhancements that are going to be available as well. Now, something that is available today that isn't necessarily um, accessible and would need to be voted on by the board is non-member access and what we call single access. These tools allow for you as a member to either have someone pre-vetted by the organization and then that non-member can reach out to you individually and ask for access to a listing or a single access which allows you to provide access to say a contractor or a stager for a specific property based on its designated date and time. And again, these are all recorded accesses. Currently, because of the current um, challenges where the DOJ is looking at realtor access or non-realtor related access, this meets the DOJ's requirement, um, but it does need to be voted on by the board in order to enable. Regardless of that, we have a solution that will meet your needs, whether it's today or in another few months, should you decide as an organization that these accesses are important, um, we can enable them for you to use with board approval. So let's talk a little bit about what's coming up next. We've talked a little bit about Super One and some of the engagement with the showing solution, but I do want to point out that some of the next chapter, right, is some of the software that is going to um, enhance your usage, right? So not only do we already have world-class reliability and cross-industry technology with showings and access, 
but we also have that non-member access and which allows you to have trusted contractors or office assistant tools. And then we have lockbox integrations for enhanced data, which will provide greater market insights. And we're going to be providing deeper integrations and broker tools and um, APIs and reimagined administrative tools, which will streamline this process for everyone. Now, today, in, well, I should say about a year ago, we revised our Supra Systems website. And that Supra Systems allows for a component for you that has a how do I segment. And so if you had a question, how do I open a lockbox? How do I release a shackle? How do I um, use, you know, toggle one, one day pin only? That will give you a resource. And what I've done is I've provided to your team some resources and links for you to be able to access all of this information on the right. Um, not only did I provide this, but I also provided some links to some short videos, which are two to three minutes long that show you little steps along the way to do things. Um, I provided a presentation for you to review at your leisure and um, the resource to be able to contact customer service should you want to electronically versus calling in. So all of that's going to be sent to you today so that you have that available to you. And I would suggest that you just hold on to it so that you have access to it later. So let's talk a little bit about the new lockbox. Coming at the end of the year, we're going to be able to start placing it into associations, Q1, Q2, depending upon their needs. And your current BTLE lockboxes are still going to work. I don't want you to think in any way that you that there is a mandatory upgrade. There is not. The association will decide how they want to manage this in the future. But there's some really great tools that are coming out with Envoy that you should be aware of. And we get asked about these all the time. So I thought it would be a nice time to kind of point them out and talk about them. So. Our lockbox looks a little similar to the BTLE. It's a little shorter, the color's a little different. It's um, seamless. It's appointment-based as we talked about earlier, right? Access by appointment, convenient, secure, and it only provides professional access. So again, it's built for the way you work and providing accountability and audit trails. Now, couple of things that have changed. We are providing a seamless step for opening the lockbox. So whether or not you have your device within your pocket or your purse, when you walk up directly to the lockbox, the Envoy lockbox, it's going to start beaconing your device to say you're within the proximity. And in doing so, once it's searching for that signal via Bluetooth, it allows you to walk directly up to the Supra lockbox, the Envoy lockbox, push on the bottom of the key chamber and it will open seamlessly. So we've initiated this with one less step and it allows you seamless access by being within that proximity. Additionally, it's going to give you the find the Envoy lockbox. We get asked this a lot. Can you tell me what my last box was or is and how do I locate it? Well, there's twofold with the find the lockbox. It's find my lockbox amongst many or find the lockbox in proximity. And I'll go over both. So find my lockbox among many. So if you have ever shown a multifamily residence and you walk up to the Town, condo community and you see the infamous wall of lock boxes and you turn to your client and you say, hey Dawn, one second, this is gonna take me a minute, I have to find the lock box we need. Well, that is true. But as we move forward with the Envoy, it's going to automatically start to beacon via Bluetooth that lock box and the little S is going to start to flash so you know immediately like, you know, R2D2, these are not the droids, or R2D2, these are not the droids you're looking for. This is the lockbox you're looking for. So it's going to start to tell you this is the lockbox you're looking for, and this is the one that holds the key for this particular property. Now, 
where it comes into play on a listing that doesn't have the lockbox on the front door is this photo that you see down here of the image of the beaconing. And that will direct you to kind of a warmer, colder approach to finding where the lockbox is located. So it's not on the front door, it's not on the front gate, but it's on the water main on the side of the house. As you open the lockbox find feature, it's going to ping you to the direct location of where the lockbox is located. So that's really helpful. This is also helpful for you when you stick a lockbox in your car and you don't know it's in your trunk. Every time you get in your vehicle, it's going to tell you that your lockbox is in close proximity. So you'll know where it's located. So again, these will navigate some of the challenges that we've heard over the years of some of the things that you would like to see. So we have increased the physical security and cyber security of the Envoy lockbox. Now the BTLE is super strong and it is very secure. But let me give you an idea of how secure the, the new Envoy is. If you were to stand in front of the Envoy and try to cyber hack it, you would try a, a tokenized code internal code, not, not external code, but a tokenized um, access every second, it would take you 31 years to hack it. And it times out after a few tries. So you can imagine it's cybersecurity wise, very, very, very difficult to access. Um, and then when you're talking about physical security, it's the only UL listed and rated lockbox, meaning Underwriters Laboratory has done extreme testing on this and have determined that it's impenetrable. So in peace of mind, again, 256-bit AES, which is Advanced Encryption Standards, that's baking level encryption. So we're, we're very excited about these two increased levels and being able to provide you um, the strongest lockbox out there known. Um, and again, to talk a little bit about some of the resources, right? So it's going to have the integrated scheduling and showing features, lockbox by appointment. And one of the things we didn't talk about is for those of you who are, who've gotten us, the ability to make this anti-jam proof. So today, when some of y'all get to those lock boxes and the, the lock box key chamber doesn't fit, you just kind of jimmy it on in there and it makes it virtually impossible for the next person to open. So um, we've redesigned the key chamber and that key chamber makes it so um, it's one piece of extruded metal. It holds 15 keys and two key cards or a semblance of them as well as the fact that it has a little bit of give at the bottom, but there is no possible way for it to go in except for one possible direction. So we've mitigated that as well. And then for those of you who have clients that have kind of moved away from the door handle, or sorry, the door knob to the door handle for extra curb appeal, the, the Envoy lockbox has a curved optional shackle. And what that does is it allows the lockbox to lay flush with the door if they're using door handles versus door knobs. So really helpful as well. So we've dealt with aesthetics, we've dealt with battery life, we've increased the capacity for the key chamber, strength, as well as the um, aesthetics of it. So we're very excited about the ability to provide this to the association should they choose to adopt it in the future. And then last but not least, I do want to point out to you the customer service phone number again. And that's 877-699-6787. Again, only four days a year that we are not open. So I would love, should you have any challenges, that you reach directly to customer service so that they can assist you right there, right then, as you need it with your device and they can walk you through either the corrections or escalate should there really be some challenge electronically that we need to get um, our team aware of and addressed. So with that, I am going to thank you for your time. Again, all of these resources are going to be available to you after. We've recorded this for your future review. And then um, if there are any questions that you didn't get answered today that 
you can't get answered by reviewing the resources that we're sending out, um, please ask your administrators and they'll reach out to me if they can't answer them personally. So thank you again for your time and I appreciate you. Thank you.